all the same. It ain't spectrum. Good morning. How you doing? It's all right. It's working. Um, you were actually over gross. Really? Yes. How much? You're eighty-three thousand four hundred gross. And when it says gro gross weight legal, that means yeah, everything weight-wise, actual yeah. gross. Has all right. Dang, guys, I cannot believe I'm that much over. We gotta get that fixed. We're dead in the water, boys. I see you put it, you zip tied a level to the pole. Oh yeah. Okay. I used to have two of them. But the uh I never got a chance to put two of them on. Because you want it square. It's all oversized stuff I do, it's big and boxy, so it's easy to, <laughs> to get the dimension out. What's our permit at now? 80? Yeah. And we're 84? No. Well, I, I hope them cold trucks are watching this video. <laughs> I guarantee you, I, I got hope a video they're watching this video. Off the road. Well, I'm just hoping because they couldn't get around me on them hills, and I was like, finally, I just said, all right, boys, I'm going to let out and let you get by me. And then he couldn't. Yeah. They just sat there and he couldn't. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that boat's light. Well, I'm just doing my job. Like I said, you try and do your job. It's not yeah. the end of the world. It's no, we all make mistakes. I mean, it's always what it is. Like I said, I'm guessing between the water, ice, snow, whatever you want to call it. Oh, do you have any questions on me, sir? No, man. That, he's answered a lot of everything. That, then you're all set. Basically, uh, we're just waiting for finished paperwork and wait for your new permit and, and get you guys out of, out of here. Thanks, sir. All right. Good yep. luck. Have yep. a safe trip. You be careful out here in this yeah, weather, too. Nope. I'm good. Well, hopefully it's going to warm up with no more ice. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So. Well, that's what I'm hoping. We're trying to get this load knocked out. It's been, my wife's nine months pregnant. Oh. Like any day. Like, scared to even be out here. Been there, done that. Three and, five years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so we got that going on, plus all the storm and stuff. So the boat's actually been loaded for like two weeks. Just waiting out the weather? Or yeah, PA? I've had to stop in uh, yeah. PA right there. The coming by, by yep. hard. So we had, it, there, so we had it sit in the storm and wait and then... Well, good news, supposedly 40s and 50s the next couple of days, so hopefully we'll be able to make some good time, so. Yeah. All right, all right brother, you be good safe. Luck. Oh, he's over. So that's what it sounds like. Nothing fancy. But he's probably permitted for that, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we got the new permit, which I feel like as soon as the we get all the ice off the top of this thing and and get low on fuel and stuff like that, I'll be right back to the weight that I'm permitted for. But either way, I went ahead and got a new permit, so we ain't got to sit at the scale and wait on all that to happen. I mean, we've been across so many scales. No, that's the thing. And the crane weighed you when you got loaded, so... Yeah. It's probably a bathtub sitting inside yeah. of water or actual ice. I'd out. say it's solid it ice up there. It yeah. hasn't thawed until now since we left Buckhorn. Yeah. But it is what it is. At least they were cool about cool it. Ice. We got a $93 ticket and no bad inspection or anything like that. They didn't put it on my authority. Well, it's not like he's never seen this before. Yeah. 
I mean, that's what he tells. It's not the first boat that came across this scale. I mean, most of the a lot of the DOD guys could be like, "Hey, you know, too bad, you're, you're out of service." And even the DOT officer is cool. Nah, he was surprising. He was chill. Well, the actual trooper yeah. was here for I don't know three minutes. Yeah. Some time to go over to paperwork. And Come on, bud. Let's go. Let's go eat. What's up everybody, Steve here. Man, I'm real busy trying to get Orwell ready for the next load. But I'll tell you what though, what I can't wait for is I can't wait to meet you guys. Now I want you guys to come down to the Mid-America Trucking Show, March 21st. Now the show runs 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But I'm gonna be at the Green APU booth specifically to meet all you guys between two and 4 p.m. That's right, boys and girls, we're gonna do a meet and greet, the Green APU booth, Mid-America Trucking Show, or match commonly known. Green APU booth, I don't yet know the booth, but I will find out eventually. When I do, I'll let you know. But we'll start marking it on your calendar. March 21st, Mid-America Trucking Show, Louisville, Kentucky. Plenty of truck parking, bring the car, bring the truck, bring the wife, bring the kids, don't bring the dog. Actually, you might be able to bring the dog, I'm not sure on that. But either way, come down to the Green APU booth, Mid-America Trucking Show, Thursday, March 21st, between 2 and 4 p.m. If there's people there before or after, I'll probably still be around. Either way, guaranteed fact, I'll be there. Big thanks for Green APU for helping us out with the meet and greet. Can't wait to see you guys. Be there. All right, we're leaving a scale, obviously. Good to go. Reissued permit. On the road we go. We're gonna stop the Petro. Get some food. Oh. Come out, Tim, all the way out. Don't be let him buy Tim or what, or we might not. Okay. Okay. You can't come around. Cool, shoulder. Swing it out right, you
again. Title cab over right there. <coughs> See old iron. So the noise you're hearing is the pilot car, a lead escort in front of us. He's, Coming to a red. He's leading Tim. Of course, I'm running the tail. My job is basically to try to block, you know, alert traffic to the size of the load in front of them and not let anybody get Tim in a compromised position where he can't deal with the uh, width of the load. What I'm supposed to try to do is keep uh, cars away from the side of him when he doesn't know they're there. What we were doing in Pennsylvania due to the hills and turns and being completely unavailable to see what's around the next bend is I had to hold back everybody until Tim One saw four, turn in our, in our direction. Yep, we're good. So basically how my job is, long story short, For keep ones that clear. appear to be hidden from Tim's flank, basically. Like now you'll see me jut out and grab that lane before Tim gets the lane. So I'll clear the lane and he'll move in. to make it today. It's just, uh, uh, time suck. When we got out of Pennsylvania, that was a good thing. But we'll see what we can get done in Ohio. Running at it. Wayne 2 and 3 carries on to 80 West. Squeeze
way. Taking two lanes, they ain't gonna play around today. They're still on the right, or on the right. And I'm trying to get room for you. They're good, you can let them roll over there. Okay, yeah, you're right blinker on it, so I thought you were trying to get her. Ah, that's where I died off. Come back. We're good, we had some confusion back here, that's all. Take lane 
until you're clear.
see when I said it was closed? Three feet left and about five feet right. 